Alexa, tell me which smart Wi-Fi baby monitors I've reviewed can utilize your sweet skills. Hmm, I'm not sure. That's okay. I got you covered. Hey, this is John from Fathercraft, where we review baby and kid gear, provide online courses for new and expecting parents, and do our best to dismantle the patriarchy whenever possible. Actually, one real way to help us in that struggle is by liking and subscribing, so be sure to click those buttons below. Today, we are going to take a look at three Wi-Fi baby monitors that can be integrated with everyone's favorite smart home assistant, Alexa, uh, using devices like the Amazon Echo, or in this case, the Amazon Echo Show, and talk about what they can do and if these smart home integrations can help you as a parent. These devices aren't necessarily cheap. Uh, this model here, the Amazon Echo 8, is actually on sale on Amazon for around 100 bucks, but their newest model, the Echo Show 10, is around $250. But obviously you wouldn't be using these devices solely as baby monitor extensions. Um, so you'll have to justify the cost any way that makes sense to you. Now, speaking of costs, there are affiliate links in the description below for your convenience if you're thinking about purchasing any of the devices in this video. And actually clicking those links helps this channel out tremendously at no additional cost to you. So please go ahead and consider uh, clicking those links. We would appreciate it. Thank you. Also, uh, if you have any questions about how these monitors work, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to uh, answer you. I also wanna hear from anybody who has used these smart baby monitor skills in the past. Uh, so uh, leave it a comment below and let us know how it worked for you. So the first one we're going to look at is the Nanit Pro. Now there are a total of six skills at Nanit's disposal. You can ask Alexa to ask Nanit uh, how your baby slept, what time they woke up, what time they fell asleep, how many times you took them out of the crib each night, um, and you can also control the nightlight. And probably the most important skill, in my opinion at least, is uh, the option to show the live video feed using a device like the Amazon Echo Show. Now, all of these skills outside of the live video feed will work on any Alexa-enabled device. For sleep information to be available through the Alexa skill, the Nanit Pro has to be mounted to the wall mount or to the uh, Nanit floor stand, um, as the Insights feature does not work if it's mounted on a multi-stand. Okay. So let's see how it works. Uh, Alexa, ask Nana how Calvin slept last night. I'm sorry, I couldn't find a baby with this name. Alexa, ask Nana what time Calvin woke up. I'm sorry, Nana didn't collect enough data to answer this question. So do you know Calvin or do you not know Calvin? Melvin Ellis Calvin was an American biochemist known for discovering the Calvin cycle along with Andrew Benson and James Bashams for which he was awarded the 1961 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Cool. Ask Nana what time Calvin went to sleep. I'm sorry, I couldn't find a baby with this name. You're being super confusing right now. Alexa, ask Nana when Calvin woke up. Calvin woke up one hour, nine minutes ago. So you just don't want to tell me what time you went to sleep or for how long. Okay, I got you. Alexa. Ask Nanit what time Calvin fell asleep last night. I'm sorry, Nanit didn't collect enough data to answer this question. N no, it's not true. You told me. You told me earlier. You said 11 hours ago. You told me this. I'm so mad at you right now. <sighs> Alexa, ask Nanit how long did Calvin sleep? You may ask me how was your baby's night when your baby fell asleep or woke up. What time did Calvin fall asleep? Calvin fell asleep 14 hours, 13 minutes ago. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it works. Well, I'm not crying. Yes, I am. There's actually one more skill that is kind of valuable and that's uh, the ability to turn on the nightlight on uh, the monitor. Um, so, Alexa, ask Nana to turn on Calvin's nightlight. Done. Lighting Calvin's room was turned on. So that's that's cool. I, I like that. That's one of those functions that you use probably more than once a day, um, and it's nice to not have to pull out your phone uh, and just tell Alexa to do it for you. So there's that. The most important uh, skill, in my opinion, is the video feed. So we'll just say, and again, this only works with the uh, video-enabled devices like the Amazon Echo Show. So, Alexa, show me Calvin. Hmm, the camera isn't responding. You sack of sh What is your deal? Uh, I'm gonna try it one last time. And if it doesn't work, 
I don't know. I guess I'll just quit the whole thing. Move to the desert. Live with the coyotes. Alexa, show me Calvin. Okay. Ah, worked like a charm. Well, and so I need to now mention the lag effect that's going on now. You can see me here. It's about a one, two, three, four, five, about a five second delay, which isn't horrible. Uh, it's not great. It's not even good. Now it's not as bad as the lollipop cam, which has about a 10 to 15 second delay, which you'll see a little bit later on, but it is what it is and I, I'm moving on. So the next smart Wi-Fi baby monitor we're gonna look at is the Lollipop Cam. So there are a couple of Alexa enabled skills that the Lollipop has. Uh, one of them is to play music. Another is to play sound. Uh, you can turn on and off standby mode. Alexa, ask Lollipop to turn off standby mode. Camera Lollipop, turn off standby mode success. And you can uh, turn on and off a private connection. So let's take a look at how the uh, music works. Now, part of the frustrations, and you don't know this because uh, it's not in the video, but I just spent 10 minutes trying to get her to play a specific uh, composer uh, available in the Lollipop app, and she kept playing the hairdryer. Alexa, ask Lollipop to play Chopin 10. You know, Frederick Chopin. <laughs> no, this is it is playing hair dryer. And I asked it to play hair dryer. Alexa, ask Lollipop to play Chopin 10. Hello. Camera Lollipop, play Chopin success. Really? I didn't know he was noted for his hair dryer play. So, what I realized is uh, it works best if you just say the music number. Alexa, ask Lollipop to play music one. Camera Lollipop, play music success. There you go. Uh, if you want to stop, you say, Alexa, ask Lollipop to stop music. Camera Lollipop, stop music success. Thank you. Alexa, ask Lollipop to play sound six. Camera Lollipop, play sound success. Oh God, that's awful. Alexa, ask Lollipop to stop. No, ask Lollipop to stop sound. Alexa, ask Lollipop to stop sound. Please. That was horrid. Alexa, ask Lollipop to play vacuum. No, it's not the vacuum, it's the hairdryer. I don't know what's going on. Alexa, ask Lollipop to stop sound. Alexa, ask Lollipop to stop sound. Stop sound success. Yeah. So let's move on to the uh, video feed skill. So if you want to show the video feed on the Amazon Echo Show, you must say, Alexa, show me Lollipop. There we go. You gotta wait for me to catch up. Uh, that is a significant lag. It was somewhere between 10 and 15 seconds, something like that. That is too much. You cannot rely on a, a baby monitor feed that is lagging at least 10 to 15 seconds. Just not safe in my opinion. We're doing this live folks, as, as uh, Bill O'Reilly once told everyone. Okay, so that's the video feed. And uh, you know, I wish I was more upbeat, but this is beating me down. So we're gonna move on to the third Wi-Fi baby monitor on this list, and that is the, my least favorite, so this should be the most fun, uh, the Arlo Baby. Now there's only one skill available um, to the Arlo Baby, and that is to show the video feed. Without further ado, I think it's gonna work. Uh, well, <laughs> why do I think that? Alexa, show me Oliver Calvin. Okay, sorry, something's wrong. I'm only gonna give this at most two attempts. All right, well, I did what Alexa asked me to do, so we'll try it again. Alexa, show me the Oliver Calvin. Okay, sorry, something's wrong. To control Oliver Calvin, try disabling the skill and then re-enabling it from your Alexa app. Okay, we're in the Alexa app. I'm gonna try to do this. Disabled, enabled. 
You all saw it? Alexa, show me Oliver Calvin. Okay, sorry, something's wrong. This has ended terribly. Uh, well, you know what? There's not much I can do about it. This is all up to the technology that we have. I've showed you that everything is up to date. I've followed the troubleshooting advice from Alexa. Um, and it's just a lot of work right now. Uh, these skills, while on the surface, seem intuitive and useful. Uh, I've found over the last couple of days of testing this is that it's just not reliable. But it could just be me. And if you want to check it out yourself or try it yourself, the skills are free. The app is free. If you have one of the devices, um, you've already got that set up. So give it a whirl yourself. Now, hopefully it won't be long until these uh, kinks and bugs get ironed out. I mean, I think it will. This is the direction technology is headed. So, but right now we're not there yet. As you can clearly see, at least with these three devices. So I think we're just at the starting point here. Uh, I think it only gets better, but right now, I just, I just don't think it's worth it. <sighs> Home assistants and their feeble integrations with the devices that we use in our lives, at least as parents. So on that note, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.